the king? Yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah, welcome to Leicester. Yeah, I know, it was beautiful. Look at all the cars, man. Wow. Yeah. The pictures. Give you a little tour of the training ground. Yeah. See what it's all about. Spent a lot of time together growing up. Yeah. Playing on the streets and uh, playing on the, the embankment, which is like a big field where we're from. And, uh, you know, generally just playing football, messing about, using garages for, for goals and yeah. uh, little things like that. Watched a lot of matches of Wes um, at Forest. Yeah. When I was younger. Yeah. Been to a few Leicester games as well. Yeah, and obviously you came up through Knox County ranks. You know, I was once there, once upon a time in the youth, younger days. Uh, yeah. It was a great place to start off for as well. Yeah. Take you into the, the boot room on the left, where the boots are. Wow. There's a lot of boots in here. Yeah, Is so your good. boot room similar to this one or? Boot room? We ain't got a boot room at King's <laughs> <laughs> We just bring our boots in our bag. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Take them home for the weekend, clean them. No kit, man? Um, there is, but you don't. He just sorts out the kit. Just for the kit only. Right. Um, yeah. And we've got a lot of fines as well, so if your boots aren't clean for match days, they'll threaten a little, like, £2 fine. Oh, really? Yeah, they do little things like that just to save it in the kitty. Yeah. Um, for end of season doing stuff. Wow. wow. So cool. every club I've been at with fines, um, they've all been different, but Kings Lynn is very strict, so you've got three people on the committee. Right. Um, the, the skipper, then two of the senior pros, and they, they all sort it out. So on their list, they've got if you get a fresh haircut, right. it's two pounds. You got to pay fine. Two, yeah, two pounds. For a fine. fresh haircut? Yeah, for a haircut. So basically, it's just making money from anything. Yeah. Uh, obviously, going to a good cause. So we went with all the money, we raised about 4000 Right. Um, and then we went, all of us went to Portugal. Oh, Al okay. Albufeira, end of last season. Right. After the promotion, we went there, which was good. Right. Um, so we're keen to enforce these yeah. fines. And then we'll use it for um, Winter Wonderland as well. Yeah, your Christmas do. So stuff like that. It's, so it's good. Any, so say like if you forget your any equipment like flip flops, towel, shower gel, it's all two pound. Wow. Any pictures in the paper, it's two pound. So do the boys grass on you? You yeah. know, for little latenesses yeah. and stuff like that. You can't even rely on your, your yeah, closest teammates to everyone's bail you up. Clock uh, you yeah, in. yeah, yeah. It's quite similar here. To be fair, you know, we've got various fines, not <laughs> fines for haircuts, but mm. we've got obviously you know late fines and. Um, wrong gear and, yeah. and stuff like that on match days and to be fair, our, our fines are pretty steep I won't go into that but um, <laughs> yeah everyone is watching the clock especially if you have a meeting for like 10 30 so yeah. for example you know the cat the clock's just above the door so we're counting down and when people are coming in a few seconds to spare there's always a big ooh yeah, yeah. And like a yay if someone is late so yeah yeah i understand that fit so you've seen the, the boot room, um, I'll take you to the gym and have a look at that. Yeah, it sounds good. Coming in the gym sometimes does remind me of you know, the hard work it takes you to, to get where you, you want to be and mm -hmm. obviously, you know, I played most of my career in the, the, the championship and uh, you know, a few seasons in League One and, you know, at my stage of, well, the stage of my career at, at 30 to get the opportunity to play in the, the Premier League was, was fantastic. And, um, you know, those times throughout my career when I was thinking, would this really happen? Is it going to happen? And, um, yeah, obviously the move to Leicester was a, a big, big move. And, mm. yeah, we had a fantastic season to, to go up. Uh, I think we achieved like 102 points and, Obviously, being in the Premier League is the best league in the world, and you know I enjoy every minute of, of playing at that level. What was um, when you got promoted from the champ? Um, what was the step up like? Yeah, you know it's a it's a big big difference. You know um, the quality of player. You know we're playing against some of the best best players in the world, and yeah. um, 
normally I'm watching them on match of the day and yeah. now I'm playing against them, you know, um, he has to be ready. Uh, but I've always believed in my own ability, you know. I knew if I got the chance, you know, you do have certain opportunities to pit yourself against them mm. in cup competitions and you always, you know, judge how well you've done on, on them games. But to play week in, week out against mm. that, that standard of opponent, you know, really does test you and like I said, you know, I've worked hard to to get to that level and I continue to work hard to, to be able to maintain where, where I'm at, where I am and, you know, playing against some of the, the greatest players and coming out on top, you know, is one of the, the finest um, feelings you can have. Yeah. Any other players you impressed with this season so far? Um, Tielemans. Yeah. Good player. Quality player. Quality player. Yeah. And BD. Yeah. Got an engine on it. Engine. It's got Google gadget legs as well. Got what? Go Go gadget legs. <laughs> he gets the audibles. He scored three goals last season. Uh, and two of them was away. So I think that was at Leicester, which was the Bournemouth game. So yeah, I don't get many goals. So. <laughs> You can tell by my face, you know, I was happy yeah. to score again. Uh, it's great. Always a good feeling when you score goals. Yeah, it is. How uh, different is it from other clubs you've been at? Um, probably and uh, Kings Lynn and that. Um, yeah, there's a massive step up um, with like the pitches, the facilities. Um, it's every. I think it's every like young young player's dream to like have. To be at a club with facilities and like pitches and everything like that, um, that you can train on every day, because yeah. you can only improve <laughs> on like better, better pitches and stuff. Exactly. Um, yeah. I suppose you take that, you know. Obviously, I'd be me being at you know Forest um, back in the Championship and League One days, and obviously starting off in Notts County, you kind of take for granted um, the facilities uh, you have now. Obviously, what you have and. I think the main thing is, you know, being here, you have to appreciate what you got. And yeah, when you're playing on pictures like this, you, your quality has to improve. You know, your all round technique, your all round game. Yeah. You learn a lot more. And, you know, obviously, clubs are at different stages and have different budgets and that. So when you do come to a club like this and you have the opportunity to, to play in these facilities, you have to make the most of it. So my, my typical week would be. Um, wake up at half or well, half six for work on a Monday and then get to work for about half seven then finish about half three and then come home have some more food and then leave and meet some of my mates in Newark um, to go to training for half seven and that's more or less my week my whole week if I've got a midweek game on Tuesday it can be quite tough with work because sometimes I won't get back until about half 12 and then I have wow. about five hours sleep for work. Four or five hours sleep, that's the only tough, tough bits that come with non-league and stuff like that. Um, wow, wow. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't, you don't know. have much time for a social life, then it's pretty nah. much non-stop. Yeah, non -stop. Really, you know, obviously balancing work and football at the same time. Um, yeah, I've not had a chance to really watch um, Jordan play in, in years since he was really young. So, mm. but I always keep tabs on him. You know, obviously I speak to his, his mum a lot, who's my auntie, and you know she always gives me updates. And it's all, it's just good to know that you know even though I don't physically get to see him much, you know I know how he's progressing and how well he's doing, and always try and stay up to date with him um, through that. What do you reckon to your FIFA rating then? Uh, that's a disgrace to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy about it. I had to tweet about it, but uh, clearly not happy about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know where they get the stats from or the information, but you know, I'm not even the, the slowest in my team 
here, <laughs> never mind the, the whole league, so... I've seen your video, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a bit of special effects, it a bit of editing. Uh, you should change it after that. Yeah, I look a bit quicker than I probably <laughs> normally do, but yeah, I'm still backing myself, I reckon. Yeah. You stayed up from relegation. Season after that, what was that season like? Because obviously you won the Prem. Yeah. Obviously, everyone's still buzzing about avoiding relegation and surviving for another season in the Premier League. And that season was incredible. Everything came together. It was written in the stars, you know, players playing at this game to the top of their ability. And we, Obviously, went from strength to strength, and we found ourselves, you know, at the top of the league or there or thereabouts for for most of the season. It got to a point in the season where, uh, well, from the players' point of view, uh, and it was the Man City game, Man City away, when it was three-one, we beat them, and we actually turned around and looked to ourselves and thought, you know what, we could actually do this. What month you know? was that when you started? Um, to... I'm not sure, maybe. It wasn't quite at the end of the season, but it was. January um, times. It was after Christmas, maybe January, yeah. February times. Um, it was an incredible time. You know, sometimes I still have to pinch myself to check it really did happen. But you know, it, it did happen, and no one can take that away from us. And I think the fact that you know we was tipped by the bookies to it was five thousand to one um, really says a lot. Yeah. And yeah, we proved everyone wrong. You know. And we, went, we we did something that was impossible, so, so would say. Yeah. When we won the league, where was you? Um, so me and my mum was watching it, the Chelsea Tottenham game, um, watching it at home. So obviously we knew if Tottenham just dropped a point, then we would have won the league. And I can just remember um, everyone going crazy when the final whistle went, just buzzing, buzzing for Leicester, buzzing for you. Um, I sent you a message straight away, just congratulating you. Um, and yeah, just a moment that the family won't forget either. Yeah, yeah, you know, obviously had a lot of messages come through at the time from you know, everybody I know, practically. Um, yeah, and at the time we were celebrating hard. Um, I remember going into to Leicester City and, you know, people were climbing up lampposts, uh, people <laughs> driving the cars, people with their heads out the window and, Loads of stuff happening, you know, it was a gathering around the stadium, the whole city went crazy and, you know, the weeks leading on after that, you know, it was, it was an incredible time and it was um, a lot of celebrating, but rightly so. My aim for, for like the next couple of seasons is to just work hard and try and get back up to being full time and like hoping to be in facilities like Leicester where you are. Yeah, thanks for inviting me to Leicester anyway, Wes. Um, appreciate it a lot. Yeah, it's my pleasure. You know, you're always welcome back here. And, you know, anytime you want to get the boots on, have a kick about some of the boys, let me know. I'm sure I can sort that out. All right, sure that.